Hi, my name is Rachel Urquhart. I'm an Australian artist and commercial illustrator. I love the natural world and human creativity, and I'd love to check out all the magic that the world has to offer in both these fields. So thank you for tuning into my video. Today we're going on a little adventure around one of my favourite parts of the Australian coastline to explore. It's the New South Wales South Coast. It's these kind of places that really inspire my work and how I think about the world. So after we do some exploring, I'm going to go back into the studio and draw a sketchbook spread.
Okay, we're back in the studio. I'm going to talk through my process a little bit here as I draw over the two pages. This first part, I always usually speed up just because it's a bit hard to see what I'm doing and it's not really that interesting. It's just a lot of messy pencil lines. I like to have composition lines before I come in with an ink pen, just so I know where I'm going. In this video, I'm using Unipin fine liners, but if you have any suggestions for better fine liners, I'm open to them. I've used Unipin fine liners for probably about a decade, and I'm finally starting to lose my loyalty to them. I'm just finding the quality's not that great. So any suggestions, please drop them in the comments. There were so many parts of this drawing and stages during this drawing where I just thought, oh, this is going so badly. <laughs> this is not worth it. I need to just put this aside. Um, by the end, I was happy with how it all came together. So I'm happy that I persevered and actually finished the work because it is so common when you're working on something um, to think that it looks awful, it's not gonna work. Just have to get through that awkward stage and then things start to come together um, a little bit better. So even though with these kind of drawings where it's the fine liner outlines and the Posca pens and the ink, uh, the alcohol markers, and then back with the fine liner inks, um, they're really, really labor intensive and time consuming. And it's so much faster to just do it straight onto the iPad in a program like Procreate. I do still find there's um, a real benefit to working in analog in your sketchbook, just pens and paper. I think thought processes and maybe the slowness of the process, the building up of the layers, the fact that you can't go back with some things. <laughs> I really do think it is beneficial to the creative process to do this, even though it's slower and painful, <laughs> I really do get something out of working this way. So I used a mixture of markers um, for these pages. Posca pens, of course, the acrylic paint pens and um, alcohol markers. I think they're all Copic, the brand that I used for this one. I like to just sort of use whatever's on hand and try and mix and match a little bit because you never know what the outcome is going to be. I think it was about here that I nearly quit and just put the whole project aside. The alcohol markers were running out and horrible to use. I live really, really far away from any art supply stores, so there was no real easy way to just replace them and keep going. So I had to kind of push through and just hope for the best, really. So I did have another couple of pages worth of messy pencil sketches and ideas and just little illustrations inspired by our wanders around the South Coast. But unfortunately, I just couldn't get to them time-wise and the video was going a bit longer than what my um, country internet can handle. <laughs> so I had to just keep it to this one. I might catch up with some of the others on another video, but for now, we're just gonna get through these ones, I think.
and just really looking at how painful um, trying to do this line work is. It really does make me think that I need to find a new brand of pen that has a bit more flow to it and it's just a little bit less hard work. So when I started these drawings, I really wanted to keep the palette fairly limited, but as I went along, it was just looking so flat and uninteresting that I had to keep bringing in more and more colours, um, which I think eventually saved it in the end, but we'll see in a second. So I really think the addition of the colour pencil highlights on these was the saving grace of the whole thing. Without that orange, everything was falling flat. And I'm still looking at it now thinking there was more that could have been done um, to make this page a little bit more interesting. But I also ran out of steam. <laughs> So there we go, some illustrations inspired by the New South Wales South Coast. Thank you so much for tuning into my video and hopefully I'll see you next time.